At Polytechnic, the fight against global warming is based on actual experiments. Firstly, high-level research at the Energy for Climate Interdisciplinary Center, E4C, a federation of 26 laboratories, aims to work on the following. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, improving energy efficiency potential, deploying the distribution of renewable energy. However, for these research projects to focus on real situations, in vivo, Polytechnic has taken up the challenge of deploying its innovations in the field by becoming a living laboratory for energy transition. With full-size demonstrators in three campus buildings, the Drahi X Novation Center, where smart electricity management solutions are tested, a residential building to experiment collective self-consumption, the CERTA Atmospheric Observatory, which is equipped with a modular research microgrid and an agrivoltaic farm. Because these demonstrators are unique research facilities that contribute to train students and raise their awareness of innovation in favor of the energy transition, two new technological platforms will be developed through a system for reducing CO2 emissions into the atmosphere a smart heating electricity grid, and a CO2 sequestrator. The demonstrator will capture CO2 and convert it into synthetic fuel, initially methanol. It will be installed on the school's lake. It will use an innovative CO2 extraction method that will be developed based on E4C studies on floating photovoltaics, electrochemical processes, socio-technical acceptability, economic viability, etc. The heating electricity grid aims to install in a residential area for military officers and students a heating grid for management and interseasonal geothermal storage and an electricity grid based on solar power, battery storage, and the provision of electric vehicle charge points. It will be used to analyze smart heating electricity coupling in these deployments with multi-scale time forecasts from a few hours to the entire season, and to develop optimization and management algorithms. It will be implemented on the campus's oldest buildings for energy savings of around 60%. From laboratories to facilities on campus, this equipment does not just have a scientific purpose. It also serves to raise awareness about climate change and involves us all in the challenge of energy transition.